everybody, welcome back to another live stream. Today, we are gonna be playing some ARMS, and yes, we could also try some Party Crash. Uh, I just have to... We'll probably do a couple tournaments, maybe a little bit more, and then, uh, I gotta... I have to figure out, like, what Party Crash actually... Is everybody able to join Party Crash? Is that, like, a thing? Does it work the same? And Alex, how's it going? Ashley, Shamed, and Daisy, welcome back. Hopefully you guys had a fantastic weekend so far. Amir, how's it going? Welcome back to the stream. Kiwi, welcome back. Hopefully you guys had good Saturdays. Kopi Gaming, welcome back as well. So does anybody know if Party Crash is just like the, um, whatever these modes are called, things? The Running Robot, welcome back. You're finally buying your Switch? Nice. Uh, like tomorrow? When are you getting it? King Plays, how's it going? And David, welcome back. Lewis, hopefully you had a good weekend. And yes, Daisy, you're going to try and win a second tournament. Good luck. Best of luck to you. I would like to win, hopefully one. And Biff, how's it going? Welcome back to the stream. Party Crash works like a private lobby, but infinite. Anyone can join. Wait. Anybody can join? Are you serious? We've been doing this the whole time? <laughs> How does it set up fights between people? And it's just 1v1s, right? And Victor and Nathaniel, welcome back to the stream. Oh, the running robot, if not this week, then next week? Well, there's gonna be some new games next week, like uh, Captain Toad and Octopath Traveler, and then Sonic Mania Plus, and then there's another one. I forgot what that one was. Alex, this, this game is trash. I mean, I'm sure people don't like this game. I'm sure people like this game. Also, I gotta remember to uh, probably change the rules a bit. Oh, it's all modes, all stages. Ooh. The lobby is even the same? Well, here, we'll do... We'll do a bit of this. And then after the first hour, we'll do some party crash. Because I just... I gotta figure it out. Uh, 2D with... Uh, we'll go to 10... How did I do this before? I think that was, what, solo, uh, solo 1v1 and then verse headlock, I think. Man, has it been a while. <laughs> Alright, let's begin. Warm-up tournament, up to 10. David, what you really need is the Lunar Game to release tomorrow? Oh, yeah, the game Daisy was working on. Yeah, uh, has there been any, uh, more progress on it? Like, what's the update with that? Also, I really need to work on my own games. <laughs> Party Crash isn't for our private lobbies? Yeah, but... People can... Wait, but it's like the same as a private lobby though, right? Are people able to, is it like just one lobby people are able to join via like friend code or something? And Justin, how's it going? Welcome back to the stream. Hopefully you had a uh, pretty cool Saturday. Oh, what a miss. But then that stupid thing got in, in my face. Come on, that grab should have worked. There we go, got in 180 damage at least. Jasmine, how's it going? Preston, welcome to the stream. Hopefully you guys had a good weekend so far. What? Are you serious? How did that work? Alright. That was a bit of a stretch. There we go. Man, is it a close battle. If only I could just aim like... Great. Oh, you're playing it safe! Come on! Alright. Didn't get knocked out, though. But GG. Trap Zone, how's it going? And Cool J, welcome back to the stream. And Justin, can I create a group for friends? Uh, what? 
In what set? What, group for what? The Running Robot, you don't know what the first game you should buy is? I mean, Odyssey or Breath of the Wild is usually would be my go-to's to if I like had to rebuy a Switch. Oh, Trap Zone, the, the pun was, uh, I mean, it's, you know, it's both not intended or intended. Alright, there's none of those punching bags in the way, so that's a good thing. Oh, for online play, uh, you want, you guys won't be able to play against me in Party Crash? Oh, wait, that's not how it works? Because if it's not going to be a lobby of us versing each other, I don't think I'd want to play that. There we go. Finally, nothing in the way. What is Party Crash? It's a uh, arms event that uh, happens. I don't actually know how often it does happen. And yeah, Biff, anyone can join, but are we going to be, like, fighting each other, or how's, how's that going to work? I mean, I could definitely try it out just to see how it works. <laughs> Jasmine, you watched more Ed and Eddie and a little bit of Johnny Bravo? Johnny Bravo is amazing. Dude's hair is, like, unbelievable. Oh, you can fight, but there will also be random people? I mean, I'll probably just check it out anyway, just to make sure I know exactly what people are talking about on it. You have to play in friend matches to face others you know? Yeah, but if you can face others you know in the party crash anyway, then that's that seems fine. Trevon, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. And after tale, welcome back. Is party crash like Splatfest? In a sense that it's a an event for a different game. Kashi, how's it going? Welcome back. Hopefully you're having a pretty awesome weekend. <laughs> also, Johnny Bravo season one is great. Other seasons sucked. Honestly, I don't even remember like what the seasons were or anything like that. Oh, they will also join you as normal? I mean, I'm probably just going to try it out anyway. Yeah, as if they were joining a private lobby of yours. I mean, the best thing to do is test it out, so. And Nathan, how's it going? Welcome back to the stream. Oh, come on. We got to just go for the grab. Japan is suffering from tremendous amount of rainfall and flooding. I actually did see an uh, article title about that. That's, uh, never thought that was, uh, something to really worry about. And Trevon, I already, uh, Greeted you. I don't usually try and do it twice to people because that's just a waste of time. I apologize if you missed the opportunity, but I mean, I'm, I'm not going to do it twice. And Georgian, how's it going? Welcome back to the stream. Also, there might be some times where I don't always greet people because maybe I don't see them or maybe just. Like, I, I wouldn't always expect it. And TJ King, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. How are we supposed to find you uh, in regular online play if it just spawns random people? Well, again, I don't really know what you mean by spawns random people. There are no, there's no option to find groups? Like those Mario Kart tournament groups? Wait, it, is it the same as just playing regular... No, wait. 
If it's the same as regular battles, I mean, those are joinable. If it's like Mario Kart Online, uh, where you gain points, that's kind of like the same thing. Is it like that? And shamed, I do apologize, but I don't necessarily go easy on anybody. Just because I wouldn't want anybody to go easy on me. Like, I would not want if somebody kind of, like, lessened their skill just so that I would have a chance. <laughs> if you'll explain. I mean, you don't have to explain more than you have. I, I can just try it in, like, the next uh, 50 minutes. And Jeremy, how's it going? Welcome back to the stream. Hopefully you're having a good weekend. Oh, Justin, you meant it should be allowed to make groups? Ah, we'll figure it out. There's really no use in trying to decipher what it is. I can just figure it out in, like, the next couple games or so. Oh, but they just started a match. Do I get... Do I still get another fight? Nune, how's it going? Welcome back to the stream. I guess we're gonna sit here and wait. <laughs> Nothing else is gonna happen, so, yeah. I wish we could see their fight, but we, we can't. Jurgen, you're watching a lot of Smash Ultimate gameplays today. Hopefully it was exciting. It looks like a lot of moves are slightly, like a lot of movesets are a little bit different. Like they're not just porting all the same characters over. You know, you wish you had arms. How much does it cost? Uh, I'm not sure. It could still be the full 60. I could be wrong though. And Savage, welcome back. Hopefully you had a fantastic Saturday. You're supposed to go, uh, you're supposed to go to friends and create a lobby with a code for you guys to join? I mean, we'll figure it out regardless. But yeah, I imagine, yeah, uh, Justin Arms, I guess, goes on sale quite often. That's... That's good to hear. And Daisy and Ashley, congratulations on both winning the belts at 10 points. Nice. Oh, and I got a badge. It's probably not going to be holographic, though. What is it? Nope, not holographic, don't care. Alright, that was just the warm-up match. Not my kind of warm-up match, but like, uh... Now we're gonna do first to, uh... First to 20. After tail, have I heard of Baldi's Basics? Yes. I saw a simple flips play it, and that was really about it. And Solomon, how's it going? Welcome back to the stream. Hopefully you had a good Saturday. And I guess we'll go ahead and start. Good luck, everyone. <laughs> yeah, Jeremy, five more months. Five more months. Until Smash 5. I cannot wait. Yeah, after tail, Baldi's Basics just kind of looks like a uh, Slenderman skin. But I mean, I don't know. Those kind of games don't really interest me too much because they're like... I don't know what the genre would be called, but... It's not like a B game, is it? Like, there are B movies that are so bad they're funny, but I don't get it. But Baldi's Basics is definitely like a video game just... I would see as a, a great way to watch like a content creator play it. And the demons, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. Hopefully you had a fantastic weekend. How did you just jump over like that? Alright. 
Who here actually remembers Slenderman? There's gonna be a movie, apparently. And Crazy Boy, how's it going? Welcome back. And yeah, Yune, when Smash comes out, I'll probably tone down playing ARMS by like, maybe once a month. Probably not more than twice. Genre would be called Stalking Tree Thing Survival. Yeah, but I'm, I'm saying like, um, like compared to like a B movie, is it just called B Game? You know where like a game is so bad it's like aggravatingly funny or something like that? I don't know what kind of genre that would be. Jurgen, you really want a Smash Direct announcement right now? I mean, I'm sure they're gonna cover some more Smash stuff in the next Direct. <laughs> Justin, you're more pumped for uh, Super Mario Party than Smash? I wish I could say the same, but I mean, I've seen Smash already. And it looks like fun. And I've, I couldn't play really Smash 4, so... Skipping that, I'm a lot more excited for the next one to come out. Well, you may have a good one. Thanks for stopping by. Almost got me. Super close. Alright. The running robot, you wonder how true all of these leaks are? I mean, any sort of rumor or leaks, I just always assume are false until otherwise... Um, until they're told by, like, uh, until the information out there is by, like, the company themselves. Biff, you don't need Smash, you have the Wii U version? Yeah, but I mean, that's, you know, that could apply to a lot of different things. It's just going to be the next and probably better game to play, at least uh, in my sense. What was my first uh, video or stream? Uh, it's either RuneScape or Minecraft, like eight years ago, I think, seven years ago. Well, just sitting out here, not fighting anybody. Wait, what'd that say? If your opponent likes to guard, do what? Probably said go for the grabs. But after Tale, the first stream I did for, like, this channel particularly was, uh, I believe just Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. That was, like, the only thing out by, uh, that long ago. That and Breath of the Wild, I guess. And there's Super Bomberman, but, like, nobody was online for that game. Oh, come on. Almost got out of it. Oh, it's a good thing it reached. That would have been a huge waste. I'm just trying to go for the grabs. That should do it. Man, that was close. Good job, Nathan. The Running Robot, the first stream you saw was the first uh, Sonic Mania stream. I still need to plan when to play the uh, the 
Sonic Mania Plus that's coming out. Kiwi, can I play Splatoon 2 later? Uh, unfortunately, I'll be playing Splatoon 2 whenever it's scheduled on the schedule at LunarComplex.com. I'm not going to play games like at random times or anything like that. I usually follow a schedule. Well, after tail, have a good one. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, Kiwi, I'm not going to be able to, like, play any game all of the time that people want me to play just because, like, I'm not going to be able to please everybody. Like, I'm sure there's people that just want me to play Mario Kart 8 Deluxe or ARMS or Rocket League, and I'm not going to be able to do that, and I should have switched my ARMS. Yeah, these are way too slow. Come on, I couldn't even get you in the foot. That's right, you can't get me if I'm way up there. <laughs> oh, I should have waited just a little bit longer. Well, at least I'm not getting, like, destroyed. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna have to get those one arms on. Oh, well. Maybe next time. Well, Jasmine, glad you enjoyed yesterday's stream. Although the beginning of it, that was very unexpected. <laughs> Ashley, who got so dizzy. <laughs> yeah, that character really moves around. And yeah, Nathan, unfortunately, you're able to get a coin during the warm-up. I wish I could take that out, but it's just... I can't really do anything about it. I don't care if anybody does it, but... I mean, it's just kind of broken. Although everybody could do it, but still. Darky, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. Hopefully you had a fantastic weekend so far, and thanks... Oh, well, I guess they're gone? Alright, well that was interesting. Oh, come on. Ah, too early, Nathan. You still got me. And yeah, the running robot, I did see uh, Nintendo's video of Warframe coming to the Switch. But I'm not really interested in Warframe. It just kind of looks like a, um... I don't know. It's, it's not like Destiny, but... It's just something I'm really not into. It's more like an MMO. I can't do it. Not gonna do it. How do you get out of this? Oh, there you go. You just hit the start button again. Wait, is somebody saying Smash 5 is a port? I mean, it's been confirmed to be a brand new title. 
I mean, it's probably as different as like four was from three and three from two and two from one. Oh, Ashley, are you in this match? I can't even tell what the name plays. They move so fast. Okay, I can tell now. <laughs> yeah, headlocks aren't really that fun, but it's, you know, it's something different. David, I did see a DM from you on Discord. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to be trust trusting somebody who just claims to be them in the chat like that. But I'm not sure why you wouldn't be able to send any uh, messages through the YouTube chat. And King of the Hills, welcome back. My Saturday wasn't too bad. It was just work. Hopefully you had a pretty good weekend so far, though. It's so close. Give it up, Headlock. I think I stopped that one. <laughs> there we go. Good job, team. It was getting pretty close. The average welcome back to the stream. Glad to hear you are fine now. And David, I don't know what you mean by proof. Uh, I'm not going to open up the picture or anything, but uh, could you say, like, proof of what? And Jeremy, I really want to say, like, they're pr they have to add a Smash, char Smash character to ARMS. An ARMS character to Smash. It'd be such a missed opportunity if they didn't. Like, at least Spring Man or... Who's the second, like, Ribbon Girl, I guess? Matter of fact. Yeah, these two. One of those two should definitely be in there. Or maybe just have Echo Fighters for him. And that's the how's it going? Welcome to the stream. Hopefully you had a fantastic weekend so far. And Jurgen, you don't want DLC for Smash? You really don't want to pay any more money than usual? I mean... I'm fine with it. I think it's not a bad idea because... I don't know. It's it's uh, it's just kind of the norm these days. And Biff, you're you're kind of making examples there where it's like, what's the difference between Mario Kart Eight and Seven or all of them? It's like you're still race people. You still hit people with shells. I mean, it's you know, it's it's not a port. Technically speaking, it's a brand new title. Is at least is what I was under the assumption of. Nepic Zach, how's it going? Welcome back to the stream. And Juanito, welcome back. Hopefully you had a fantastic weekend so far. Mario Kart from Wii to 8 has evolved, unlike Smash. Uh, I mean, there's new concepts in the latest Smash that's coming out. That's literally the same as saying that it has evolved. And David, welcome back. Glad to see your account is not, or has not been hijacked or anything. And Nathan, congratulations on the 22 points and the belt. And the thumbs up. But I mean, Biff, I don't think there's going to be any argument anyone's going to make saying that Smash, uh, Super Smash Brothers Ultimate is a port. It just doesn't make any sense. 
Like, regardless if it doesn't change much from Smash 4, it doesn't matter. It's a brand new game regardless of that. But, I mean, it's the newest title, and I'm definitely going to play it. And a lot of people are definitely going to play it. A lot of people are excited for it. Oh, you're not saying it's a port? Oh, I thought... My mistake, then. I thought you said it was a port or something. And Crazy Boy, have a good one. Thanks for stopping by. Just saying you could have saved money playing the Wii U version? Yeah, but that could be said for every other game. Like, instead of getting Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, people could have- people still do play Mario Kart 8, but... I mean, that's how it goes. Like, with all of the Call of Duties, you're gonna have to keep going with the lineage of buying a new console for them, buying the new game, Call of Duty Black Ops 1, 2, 3, now 4 is coming out. It's just something that's always been happening for decades. And I mean, you can be with, uh, I imagine it's minority that decide to stay with one game, but I'm, I don't really see a, uh, I mean, there's some circumstances in which I'd like to go back to old ones, but usually, for the most part, I'm always gonna go to the latest game of something. Or I'll just, like, play a different game. Justin, can you add me on Switch? Uh, I mean, I have a friend code in the description below. And Alex, uh, again, I will be playing Armed still when Smash comes out. It will just be probably once a month. Alright. I see where this fight's going. There we go. 40 points. And Jurgen, I don't really care who defeats me in Smash. It could literally be anybody. Oh, come on, you had to use your rush. What timing. Oh, and the running robot? I'll be getting uh, Let's Go Pikachu. I never really used Eevee in any team, but I've used Pikachu before. And I'll definitely be playing through the game. I'm not gonna connect it to my Pokemon Go account or anything like that, just because I don't really want to do that. Because I have no interest anymore in Pokemon Go. And, uh, yeah. Hopefully I can catch all the Pokemon with the Pokeball in the new game. That will be the goal, at least. Fifi, how's it going? And Robbie, welcome back. Hopefully you guys had spectacular Saturdays. Epic Zack, you can see uh, why people think this game is exactly like Aces. There's just not enough. I mean... I don't understand why people think that some games don't have enough. I'm, like, aces and arms. I kind of figure this is all that it has, and this is, like, fine if anybody really enjoys this. Like, this is competitive. It's gonna be the same thing over and over again. Alright. Okay, at least somebody interrupted that. Well, David, I don't know if there's anything Nintendo would have to worry about. Well, oh no, I'm mistaken. Yeah, they gotta make things server side for a uh, <laughs> for a uh, multiplayer for Smash, or that's gonna be very, very bad. Like really bad. Oh, 
Well, Justin, as always, uh, after every tournament, I'll be able to check the requests. I can't do it now for some reason, so... And I did not mean to go for a grab. That was my bad. And Kingster, how's it going? Welcome back to the stream. Hopefully on a good Saturday. All right, one more. Th Never mind, that was the throw. People say Arms did not have enough to let them keep playing. Well, I mean, Arms isn't going to be a game that is like other games. It's a, it's a fighting game, and the only thing you really do in a fighting game is fight. Over and over and over. That's to be uh, expected for a fighting game. Have I ever considered playing any retro games on stream? I would love to play old games, but I kind of want them to come out on the Switch before just emulating all of them like I've done with uh, only one of them. Like, I really want to play a Banjo-Kazooie again and actually play Tooie and other games like that, but I'm really hoping that maybe they'll release them or something. Maybe the N64 Classic, if that ever gets announced. When someone says ARMS is dead, people just did not like ARMS? Well, I mean, it depends on what you define as dead. If 99% of the player base, or if less than 1% of the people who bought it aren't playing it anymore, I kind of would consider that maybe dead. I'm just like thinking of numbers off the top of my head, but I mean, imagine if a game came out, 100,000 people played it for like a year, and after a while only, you know, less than 1% of that are still playing a game. That kind of seems like the game is dead, but I mean, that shouldn't really matter to anybody. If somebody likes a game, they should play it. They shouldn't really care too much about if anyone else is playing it. Banjo is possible on Switch if Microsoft and Rare allows it. Yeah, but maybe there'd be some, like, special clause somewhere in a deal that it's like, oh, it was on the N64, and I don't know. Have I heard that Warframe is coming to Switch? Yes. I did see the video, but, uh, never was really into Warframe. I had, it came out on PS4, or PS3? Maybe it was PS4 for free. Something like that. It's just, it didn't seem too interesting to me. Like, I know it's kind of like, I think it's like Destiny, right? Like, MMO shooter-based game? Hey, Goldmaster, how's it going? Welcome back to the stream. What I do if there was a child, if, if there was a child was standing in front of me? I, I have no idea. Be like, what are you doing? I'm trying to, I'm trying to see the monitor. They'd get in the way. <laughs> Inflexible, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. Oh, there goes my arm. And yeah, Biff, you should definitely play the game how you want to play the game. I was hoping you're gonna go for a grab. That is not the case. And Trinity, how's it going? Welcome back. Been a while, hopefully you had a good week. Yes. Yeah, baby. Also, I imagine if like if Microsoft were allow allowed Nintendo to like have Banjo on the Switch, everybody would probably make money from that, then then lose money. There'd probably be a good opportunity there. And Grayson, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. You're in Canada. Hopefully it's not like 120 degrees up there. What is my favorite Mario Kart besides Deluxe? I'd probably have to go with Mario Kart Wii. Like if it's local tournament based, 
definitely Mario Kart Wii, but it, for everything else, it's going to be the latest one. In this case, Deluxe. Epic Zack, you plan on getting Crash one day? I mean, those three games were a lot of fun. Would highly recommend that. Maybe $40 is too much for a lot of people, but... I mean, it was still an amazing experience. And also, I feel like I've missed out on those games and really needed to play them at least once. Mario Kart Wii is like the melee of Mario Kart series? Yeah, that's, that sounds about right. There's a little bit more tech involved, or like, um... Moves? Inputs? Strategy. There's a little bit more strategy involved. That's a perfect word. Which is why I do like, um... Mario Kart Wii. $40 for three games, that's cheap, actually? Yeah, but, I mean... On how long it takes to beat a game, it's like 15 hours, and so that that's maybe not worth it to some people. But I mean, it was still fun. There was still, you could probably get your money's worth hour per dollar wise if you go for 100%. There we go. Just took me a while to start turning toward you. Alright. The only problem I'd say with Mario Kart Wii, though, is, like, there's only one meta to go with. Like, it'd be really cool if... There were stats you can change, and then there were cosmetics you could change, and you could mix and match, and just have any character you'd like, but have the best stats. So at least there'd be, you know, a little bit of, a uh, Less the same character. Oh no. Oh, that was close. I was scared for like a second. <laughs> I'm exact, have a good one. Thanks for stopping by. And yeah, Justin, I mean. Like, Mario Kart Wii is unbalanced, but that's why everybody just plays the meta. And then that's... Then it then it becomes, like, a game of skill, kind of. With maybe a little bit of RNG. Melee is the most unbalanced Smash game? Is it, though? I, I would, I would, I beg to differ. I think, uh, there's a lot of top tier characters in, in Melee. Like Brawl, there are some characters that are so bad that it's just, what are you doing? And then, like, there's the, uh, hmm. Maybe I'm thinking of this backwards. Wait. No, because in Brawl, there's, like, uh, one character that can, like, defeat all the characters. Isn't, like, Meta Knight in a tier of his own? As opposed to, like, a... Uh, I feel like the top tier lists in Melee have a little bit more characters going on than Brawl did. Could be wrong. And yeah, I'd say Smash 4 is the most balanced because, I mean, they could release patches for it. That makes sense. But I mean, I really wouldn't say Melee is unbalanced. Have you seen some of those tournaments? If people really wanted to win, I'm sure they would choose a character that they think would be the most unfair to play with. There we go. Oh, 
Oh, and Jeremy, I'm already going to main Mr. Game & Watch. If he's terrible, I'll switch to my backups, uh, Dr. Mario and Luigi. I've spent thousands of hours in those characters. I'm not going to... I'm probably never going to change from them. I might try a few more, but... I mean, with the amount of time I've spent in those characters, I just want to play those. I'm really mostly interested in playing against other newer characters. Wait, oh, Solomon, you're asking which Sonic game to the chat or Lunar? What about Sonic? Actually, in Melee, 40% of the fighters are uh, viable. Wait, that means it's like really balanced. And then if, if Brawl only has 5%, then... That's like one of the most unbalanced games. That's why it would be considered broken, I guess. But, I mean, I'd just say it's poor design. But I'm pretty sure Melee is a pretty balanced game up in the, uh, you know, highest tier of play. Alberto, am I excited about Daisy? Why would I be excited about a flower? And Santiago, welcome back. Hopefully you're having a good weekend. Yeah, Justin, I figured you meant, I fi I fig I knew what you are talking about when you mentioned 06 and, I don't know about Boom, but 06, yeah, that's, is that even considered a video game? <laughs> Hashtag, Brawl is better than it's remembered? I don't know about that, I have really good memory about Brawl and how, like, good luck. Am I mad, too, about uh, Waluigi not being playable? I mean, I'm not really mad. I'm just curious why they decided not to allow him to be a playable character yet. I mean, he's a playable character in a lot of the main games that come... Not main game... I mean, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Mario Kart 8. Mario Tennis Aces. Mario Party. I'd say it's a little weird that he's not in Smash. What is my favorite 2D and 3D Sonic game? 3D, I'm gonna have to go with Sonic Adventure 2. 2D, probably... Can I say the 2D sections of Generations? If not, uh, I mean, probably Sonic the Hedgehog 1. That's just the one that I played the most. I've played very little of uh, a lot of the 2D ones after that. <laughs> yeah, David Brawl is worse than remembered. I mean, I can really only speak for, like, no item two stock tournament. Brawl and it's just matchups are terrible. And Biff, congratulations on the belt and the 22 points. Enjoy the belt. And we'll probably play uh, one more tournament and then I'll be able to check out the um, party crash. That's what it's called. Definitely did almost forget that. If Biff, you're a casual for every fighting game. Is that a really casual play in arms? I would have expected otherwise. Kingster, you imagine Daisy with her own moveset? When they announced she was a clone? Oh, you mean an Echo Fighter? Wait, you got triggered? Why? I mean, that was the issue. Like, if you if you uh, made Daisy a character, how would she really be different than Peach? Yeah, Biff, except for arms? Yeah, I figured. <laughs> Just wanted to make sure we were clear about that. Because uh, I'd say you are definitely better than a casual arms player.
She could do all kinds of flower moves? Yeah, okay. I, I could see it. I just... I mean, they could definitely think of something, I guess. But maybe they'll be styled different. And Cindy, how's it going? Welcome back to the stream. Hopefully you're having a good weekend. And Nathan, your level's 30 for a party crash? What is uh what do the levels mean? Wait, who is this? Is this Ashley? Yes, it is. Alright. Making sure I change the appropriate uh attire. Still probably not gonna help. Oh, that was a close one. Come on, that one didn't even stop any of yours. There we go. Trudy, have a good one. Thanks for stopping by. Great, it just had to break. This is not good for me. How did you jump? All right. I should have not gone for it. Each level multiplies your coins by 50. Oh, okay. So it's a way to get a lot more coins. Oh, I thought the jump would stay over it. Now I get my rush. Great. <laughs> Super Mania, how's it going? Welcome back. Hopefully you had a fantastic Saturday. <laughs> Justin Melee is overrated. I mean, I don't really see people... Well, I mean, a lot of people praise Melee just because it requires a lot of skill for, um... Like, the very most highest competitive play. And yeah, Ashley, your arms move way too fast, so I'm just trying to, you know, catch up to that speed. And over, how's it going? Welcome back to the stream. Odyssey is overrated. Honestly, I don't really hear too much about Odyssey. But I mean, I thought the ratings were very appropriate for that. Alright, gotta definitely switch back. Odyssey is probably the worst 3D Mario game. I don't know about that. But I mean, more power to you if you didn't like it uh, at all. Saves you 60 bucks. Well, I mean, Biff, wasn't... Isn't Odyssey... Highly rated on, um, there's some website out there, I forgot what it's called. I don't think it's Metacritic. It's the one where, like, Ocarina of Time is still number one. Kingster, you think Odyssey's the worst 3D Mario game, too? Man. I am shocked. David Odyssey is a 7 out of 10 to you? What was what would be Super Mario 64 for you? Odyssey is a 3 out of 10 for Biff. Alright. 
I mean, that's like three more than I would expect. <laughs> Galaxy 2 is 8 out of 10? What about Galaxy 1? Oh, in Supermania, is it Metacritic that has it at like a... What is it, 90-something? And Daisy, it is level 5. I think we got this. Just gotta pay attention to grabbing what I'm supposed to. Super Mario 64 is 8 out of 10 because you can actually make videos of it? I don't know if that would... I don't know if that should be included of the... That's not the game's fault, though. Like, what is what does that mean? Can't you cannot make videos of other games? Yeah, Supermania, I mean if it's on Metacritic as a really high score, I don't think it's overrated. The rating for it is probably really appropriate if it's up there. Like Ocarina of Time, for example. And I believe Breath of the Wild is also pretty highly rated up there as well. Oh, I should really, like, back off and probably not die? Come on, just one grab, that's all it's gonna take. Maybe two. Well, Daisy, we did try. Biff, your rethinking Odyssey is 1 out of 10. I mean, we, we get that you, you you did enjoy Odyssey, but, I mean, Odyssey is a great game. And obviously, since I'm expressing my opinion, it is just opinion-based. Ocarina of Time is better than Odyssey? Yeah, but those are very, like... There's a lot more going in Ocarina of Time. Odyssey is just a, um... Like, Odyssey is my favorite Switch game so far, but Breath of the Wild, I do think, is a better game. But not personally for me. If you did enjoy the story, which was five hours, overrated? I don't think that's what overrated means, though. Like, overrated isn't a term to throw around at games that... ...someone throwing around the term would personally dislike. Like, isn't that not what overrated... What, what does overrated even mean? You know what overrated means? I th I, I, then I'm sure I, I don't know what overrated means. Yeah, Super Mania, like overrated, like you feel a, uh, a game gets too much praise than what it is, uh, and usually it's. Uh, it's just you saying that? Isn't it like, uh, if a lot of people are speaking highly of the game and then, like, the majority thinks it's not a good game? Maybe? No, wait. That doesn't make any sense. What was that one game that was supposed to be good but wasn't even multiplayer? Like, something Citizen, I think. Star Citizen, maybe. Like, I feel like the rating is very appropriate. But maybe that's just the majority of anybody who rated it on Metacritic. I'm not sure exactly what the process is for that. Yeah, Biff, you'd rather play probably any game because you didn't enjoy Odyssey. That makes sense. But I don't think overrated is a substitute for a game just not being good for somebody. Oh, 
Like, I'm pretty sure... Oh, yeah. That's just how I see it. And Scott, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. An example of overrated is Fortnite. See, I don't really know if Fortnite would be considered overrated because... I still need to figure out, like, an exact definition of overrated. Because, <laughs> I mean, a lot of people play Fortnite. It's obviously a good game if a lot of people are playing it. Yeah, Fortnite is popular, not overrated. I'd, I'd probably lean more toward, uh, toward that. <laughs> you hear Fortnite is addicting worldwide? I mean, it's... I enjoy the game a lot. I just don't have time to play it a whole lot. I just jumped right in your rush. Well... That's what I get for not paying attention as much as possible. Fortnite is overrated because people play it because of its popularity. No, I think that's just bandwagoning. I don't know if that would necessarily lead it into being an overrated game. Like, I'm still trying to form a very concise definition of overrated. Like, maybe people speak, maybe a certain amount of people speaking very highly, like, over highly of a video game. Just because they're putting their personal feelings into it. But unless it's the majority, if the majority like a video game, then I don't think it can be overrated. I think if a minority overinflates the, uh, like, how good a game is, maybe that would be considered overrated? Oh, see, Justin, I'd have to put Sunshine, probably, at least out of that list, probably at the bottom. I didn't really enjoy Sunshine all too much. Even ARMS has more content than Odyssey? I mean, it's just a fighting game. Not saying it has more or less. People are just blinded for you don't know what reason. I mean, now I feel like you're just putting your feelings into the game. And... I don't know if you should be so concerned if people don't enjoy a video game, they just don't enjoy the video game. Like, I don't know if people are blinded, people just probably don't enjoy this game as much as you do. And, I mean, that's... That's not a problem. I don't know why people would be so... Um... What's the word? I guess worried? About people enjoying games that they enjoy? Like, if they don't enjoy it, they don't enjoy it. Yeah, Daisy, you're gonna count the first tournament as a... I mean, you could... That's a win. You definitely won. It was a tie, but... I mean, you definitely got a belt. And Biff, congratulations on the belt. Again, with the 22 points. Nice. But uh, I, I would personally say ARMS doesn't have more content. It would, it would, it's weird to like try to actually think what content would calculate to. But I think Odyssey has more going on than a like first new IP fighting game like ARMS. That's just me. Maybe there's more things you could specifically do, but I mean I feel like that's just getting into opinions. 
And the Stepboard Nation, welcome back. Hopefully you had a fantastic weekend so far, and I'm gonna try and figure out how this actually works. Alright, so I can pick Ribbon Girl. Alright. So, uh... Yeah, this is Party Crash. Hopefully you guys are able to join. Okay, so that worked. We're getting somewhere. If this is exactly the same as private uh, matches, I mean... Does it cap at a certain point? Like, there it, it doesn't seem to be much difference to really play Party Crash. Overrated when a person or thing is considered more important than usual. That seems to be the right definition. So I wouldn't consider games that are highly rated by the majority, like on Metacritic or something, as overrated because those ratings are very just. Does that make sense? I hope that's making sense. Oh, I got 10... Whatever that is, V-points? That looks like a V, it's probably not, though. And Biff, I'm not gonna be using Min Min, because I don't- I don't play Min Min. Yeah, I don't know if I like this, uh, rather- Oh, no, not doubles. Man, this is just... Isn't this fun? <laughs> I kinda would rather have a tournament set up, though, because, like, there's a bit of a... Time to take a break and check requests and... That sort of stuff. Also, this seems exactly the same as regular private battles, anyway. And where else is it going? Welcome back to the stream. Oh, now we're going over here. Oh no, my teammate is dead weight. Great. <laughs> oh, you get a lot of badges at the end of the party crash? I mean, that might be worth going for, but... Oh no, I feel like the other battles are are just better for like the, uh, the mode, like just a tournament, and then it's 20 points or whatever amount of points. And yeah, Biff, I see the two arms at the, uh... Oh, wait, no, the arms? Those are featured arms. So there's featured characters and arms or something? Also, if people join from... So there's no max size for this lobby, right? And that is not a good item to go to. Because if people were to join who aren't on my friends list or who aren't watching the stream, does that not allow more people to try and join? Oh, I was going to give you the present. Alright. Oh, 
Oh no. Get way too close. There we go. Way too close. Yeah, Biff, you can leave. I can. I know I can leave and re-enter, but I mean, tournaments at least have like a uh, a goal to strive for, or something like that. Yeah, the Seborn Nation. You got a new uh, a router. That's cool. Hopefully your internet is uh, improved. So unlimited amount of people are able to join this. No? Maybe? And what happens if uh, this lobby is full with randoms? Like, I need to know the answers to those two questions, or else I can't play this. The music's a lot better. The background looks cool. <laughs> Jurgen, be aware of the bombs. I mean, I saw them. I picked it up pretty quick. And by pretty quick, I mean like a minute. Yeah, Biff, I, I get what you're saying. Use the, the characters and the arms that are there or something like that, but I don't need any gifts or any rewards or anything like that. I'm just playing the game just to play the, like, just to have fun playing the fighting game. I don't, I don't need coins or cosmetics or, honestly, badges I really don't care too much about. Like, I'm just playing to verse the other player in a fighting game. This would definitely be better to play if, uh, to allow others to be able to get maybe what they want during the event. But I'm personally not looking for anything to acquire. I'm just wondering if uh, people that aren't in the chat joining would then exclude people being able to join, because I don't want that. Nub, how's it going? Welcome back. Hopefully you had a fantastic Saturday. It's a different sound? Just spam that. <laughs> this is like Conquest Mode in Smash 4? I've never played the story in Smash 4. <laughs> Not when you can unlock all the characters by playing a hundred and something matches. I just walked off one of the stages of Sonic like a hundred and something times. However long it took to unlock Jigglypuff and then there you go. Come on match. There we go. It's like that logic, uh, not even Splatfest is worth the play? Are you sure it's not? I mean, how how was I able to get all the, the weapons? Getting level, getting to level 30? Also, they don't add in all these, uh, team fights with 2v2s. I prefer not to play those. But Biff, I do apologize if I, you know, not really too much into the, uh, the party crash, as some may be into it. But I don't know what to tell you. It's 
Splatfest seems very different from this and seems a lot more worth it than this. Because I actually want to achieve things in Splatoon 2. Uh, I've already gotten everything I want in arms. Like, I don't really see using the coins to be useful because I have my arms that I'd like to use. In Conquest mode, they give you two characters and you need to fight for one of them. Oh, if you win, uh, you will give points to that fighter. Oh, you're talking about this, right? Yeah, I, I know the uh, the premise of this is like fighting uh, for a certain character or something. Uh, definitely something fast. Oh, that actually grabbed? <laughs> also, if Party Crash, uh, prefers a certain character, then I mean there goes people's mains who may want to maybe a different character. For example, me. Come on, can you get over there? Oh, great. Come on, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. Hopefully we had a pretty awesome weekend so far. Yes. And Justin, what do I prefer the the mo wait, prefer most to least out of Aces, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, and ARMS? Mario Kart 8 Deluxe the most, uh, ARMS, or not ARMS, Aces second and then ARMS third. I mean, ARMS is a fun game, don't get me wrong, but it's not my style of fighting game that I really strive for. Like, that's... 2D side-scrolling fighters, or like, whatever they're called. Yeah, Jurgen, that's a good thing, though. It's not necessarily required to play as the two characters. That's good. Oh, what a grab. Why am I using these arms? That was a mistake. I do miss him, kind of, though. Oh, that's the level, duh, I think. Level three. I'll take it. Yeah, Justin, I honestly don't think, like, anybody should buy Aces, a $60 title, for the uh, tutorial slash adventure mode. Probably not worth it at all. But I just saw the multiplayer aspect out of it. I'm going to hate slash love the sudden death. That doesn't sound like fun. And actually, I'll definitely go for grabs. Why not? <laughs> it's too bad it's Flubber. So that might be a little bit more difficult. Oh, I missed my opportunity. Hey, he's almost dead. 
Aces doesn't have a competitive scene? I actually haven't looked. Maybe it doesn't. But I mean, I don't know if buying a game because other people are getting the game is honestly a good idea at all. Like, I'd be careful about that. Oh, sudden death is one hit and you're dead? Well, that's, uh, that's gonna be interesting. Solomon, what is my favorite Zelda? Probably Ocarina of Time. And then second, uh, Majora's Mask. Those engines, I just... Those engines were so good. That was, in my opinion, all they needed for their games. Oh, is this... What is this? How did you have your rush? Does it carry over? What? We need to try against level 8 headlock? How do we do that? Does it just happen? He appears randomly. Okay. So we can't, like, that's not an option that we can just decide to do then. Oh, the rush does not carry over? It's called Lucky Break? That's a thing? So we're just continuously searching around for this, uh, level 8 headlock. Then we're probably just gonna lose. Oh, you can't go to the home menu from here either. I guess that makes sense. And if they're easy, easy to beat, yeah, but like, you know, I'm not that skilled at the game. And Master Smash, how's it going? Welcome back to the stream. Hopefully, you had a fantastic Saturday. And more, what character am I using? A uh, ribbon girl. Oh, we got the cheerleading squad. Hopefully we'll win. Go for grabs. It's level five though. I think, I think we're, we're good without them. Also, who doesn't love the sound of like these arms? that didn't miss the entire time. And where you can't wait for the new Spider-Man game? It does look amazing. If only you could grab at the end of that. That'd be a pretty awesome combo. Oh, is that health? Yes, it is. Take some of that. Good job, team. Oh, 
Oh, we can all do level 8 headlock now? How does this work? Does it just randomly appear? Bonus period start? What? All you can headlock. Oh, is that like all you can eat? Probably not. What's a game that I can't wait to get? Pokemon 8th Generation is the, uh... I think so far the, uh... The game I'm most looking forward to? What is this? Is that the thing we have to wear? Oh, we have to break it though first. Yes! This is great. No! It's not great! Alright. I need my rush, like, now. There we go. Oh, I thought that was gonna be... Yep, never mind. Not gonna be the arm-specific rush. Oh, Justin, you never you. never went back to go through Ocarina? I'd say it's pretty good for uh, a little more than a few runs. Although getting all the collectibles may be a pain because they're not really that obvious. I don't think there's a good way of searching for them that's like always going to tell you where they're at. And Amar, how's it going? Welcome back to the stream. Hopefully you had a spectacular set. Oh no, not the shields. Please don't block me. Multiplayer games have great replay value. You don't say. People say that this game is dead? I mean, I've heard it a lot, but I don't really know how many players are still playing it. Come on, again? Oh, thanks for the save. There we go. A little close there. When is the next software update for Nintendo Switch? I have absolutely no idea. Honestly, Master Smash, I'd probably rather want to play the, uh, the original Ocarina of Time. I don't really care about graphics, but I feel like that one is just... Well, wait, does... It would depend on which one would have better music, or better sound quality. Kopi Gaming, what do I think of Party Crash? I mean, if... It's good if you're trying to get the things that, uh... At the end of it, but... I don't really care for points or rewards or anything like that. And I'd rather make... Uh, my own rule sets. Or if we all want to, like, pick a specific thing, then it's just being random. And I still don't know if, like... Random people joining are going to be blocking people who may want to join. Also, I got to check friend requests. That's right, I almost forgot about that. What do I think of the new Sonic game? Uh, which Sonic game? <clears throat> oh, 
Oh, Sonic Mania Plus. I mean, that game's not out yet. There's a limit of 10 players in a lobby, including Party Crash? Yeah, if randoms are joining, then... That's just leaving out people who could be joining from the chat. Oh, Justin, I thought I added you. Pretty sure I did. Come on, ball. Get over there. Oh, you hit me in the face with it. That's gotta be a foul, right? Uh-oh. It's getting close. Oh, if they're talking about Sonic Team Racing, or no, Team Sonic, Ra I don't know. The racing game that's supposedly, uh, it's gonna be a game or whatever, uh, that's, I don't think that's out yet, right? <laughs> this is more hot potato than volleyball. Yeah, basically. At least you could spike the ball. That's that's a neat feature. Also, I think I'm going to play one more fight and then back out and start lobbies again. And also check requests. Wait, somebody hates arms? I mean, Biff, if that's directed at me, uh... I don't think I ever... Was this sudden death? What's going on? What just happened? I have no idea what just happened. I feel like I missed something entirely. Well, I must have tripped. <laughs> what an interesting game. Probably not even holographic. Nope. Still not holographic. How many badges am I getting? Okay. Still not the best. Yeah, Justin, I think the request went through, or at least it should have. Oh yeah, Solomon, I haven't added, uh, I haven't changed my schedule yet. There's a little bit of uh, complication I'm still trying to work out. Like, um, I think on the 13th, Octopath Traveler and also Captain Toad Treasure Tracker release on the same day next week. And then shortly after that, I think the 17th, uh, Sonic Mania Plus. I gotta figure out, like, what to stream first. I'm thinking getting through Plus first and then Octopath and then maybe, uh, no, Plus is on the 17th. Captain Toad, and then uh, Octopath, and then Sonic Mania Plus. I think. Something like that. I have to still figure it out. Oh, when you win multiple m times in matches, you lose health? Well, that's lame.
But yeah, Solomon, I'll be putting up aces probably sometime in the next couple days. And then try and figure out, like, where to put the other three games that are coming out soon. Yeah, Master Smash, usually uh, for PC games, you just go on Steam Store, and then you just download them that way. Am I going to try new Spider-Man? I'll probably play it. When does, do you, Anwar, do you know when it comes out? And yeah, Super Gamer Guy, there's a lot of levels uh, for Captain Toad, but I mean, if it's only what was in the book in the demo, there doesn't seem to be too many, and they go by pretty fast. And yeah, actually, I'm doing private battles. Um, don't really think uh, Party Crash is too applicable to what I'm trying to do. And Solomon, have a good one. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, there's more than one book. Well, that's good. I mean, if it takes a couple days, it takes a couple days. The book is the chapter. How many chapters are there? And I thought a book has many chapters. It's not making any sense. It's coming out next month? Hopefully I can get to it day one. I imagine I should be able to, the uh, Spider-Man game. Yeah, Jurgen, I'll probably spend up to five hours if I need to, to get through Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. All depends on how it goes. Maybe if, if I, I don't know if it's worth 100%ing. It doesn't seem like it would be too difficult. Like, um, well, I guess Crash could still be done, but I feel like Crash would take longer to 100%, so I didn't really go for it. Oh, Spider-Man comes out in September. Okay, we still got a while. I landed on a Beyblade, no way. September 7th. Okay. Yeah, I got plenty of time to plan then. Who's my favorite character in Spider-Man? Don't really have one. I don't think I've played more than an hour of any other Spider-Man game. Not all, to not all Toad levels are puzzles? Okay, well that's good that they change it up. What are the other levels? Are they just bosses? Because I know there was a boss one in the demo. Yeah, some are bosses. So is it just uh, puzzles and bosses? I imagine it will be puzzles leading up to a boss. Some of the bosses are really hard, took you, uh, took 20 of your lives. I mean, I, I don't want to assume ahead of time, like, how difficult a Toad, a Captain Toad game's boss would be. I don't imagine it would be any more difficult than Kirby Star Allies' boss. Or especially, um, Bayonetta bosses. Regardless, I'm expecting it to not be a very, uh, very lengthy game to play through. Yeah, and where you used to play Spider-Man on PSP, I never got it for the PSP. Oh, come on, grab. Never mind, I'll just, uh, miss entirely. Great. <laughs> gotcha. 
<laughs> oh, not the bosses? The levels? Oh, the levels were difficult. Okay, I can see that making it a little bit more lengthy. <laughs> Jurgen, I'll take one day trying to 100% complete. Um... Oh, only the bridge level. Yeah, I mean that level's ridiculous. Just gotta get used to the controls, and they're very finicky. Maybe this time, Justin? Or nobody's gonna fight? Alright, maybe not this time. All right, Daisy, good luck. Have fun. Eh, at least you dodged that. How's Daisy been? I've not checked up on a flower, I'm sorry. Oh, Smash to Smash, my main goal for for Smash when it comes out is... I mean, only because I'm streaming it, I'll probably play through any story it has. Else I would just, like, fall off the stage any number of times to get all the characters and then buy all the DLC if they have it. But, uh... I mean, the goal is really just to play it. Probably take it very, uh, competitively whenever I do 1v1 two-stock kind of tournaments. Like, I don't know what other main goal you can have with a fighting game. Other than, like, perfect your skill in the fighting game. Like, I don't plan to do all the minigame kind of things. Like, uh, what were some of the minigames in the other one? I think Melee had, like, 50 of them. Ashley, do I still have mac and cheese? I think I still have a four pack somewhere. Pretty sure I haven't touched it. That is definitely for this weekend. Yeah, Super Gamer Guy, you're gonna play a lot of uh, Smash Ultimate? I can't wait. That might actually be a game I play off stream just whenever I can just to try and perfect my game because I. I'm so bad at it now. I played a little bit on 3DS and I can't even defeat like two level nines. So I got to get back up to that point at least. And then I still don't, I feel like I'm going to get a GameCube controller and I, I really want to not use a GameCube controller, but I feel like I'm just going to be better with it. Other than Game & Watch, who do I use? Well, I mean, if Game & Watch is not viable, which is probably, let's be honest, not going to be viable at all. Probably gonna be Dr. Mario or Luigi. And I mean, it wasn't Dr. Mario before, be or it was Luigi only when there wasn't Dr. Mario, like in Brawl, for example. Oh my god, Ashley, if I came back to the stream tomorrow and I didn't have any more of the, uh, the four, um, mac and cheese left, that'd be a problem. Try not to- I could definitely eat four easily, but I want to try and savor some of them. Canton, you're excited for Super Mario Party? I'm pretty excited for it as well. I doubt it's going to be a very, uh, streamable game, but... I do want to have that game and play it a little bit. Oh, Master Smash Events! That's right. Events is what I, I believe I was talking about.
I think there are 50 events in Melee that you get through. And they're just like pre-set up uh, minigame kind of things or goals to achieve in a certain amount of time or without dying or something. And I do remember break the targets and uh, the platform things, but uh, I mean, I'm not really looking for those specifically. Events isn't even a major part of the game. I mean, the major part of the game is the fighting, I would say. And maybe any sort of adventure mode that they have, but I don't really see those as the part that I look forward to. Bloodslayer, welcome back. When am I streaming Kingdom Hearts? Probably after Smash. It all depends because it's on average 150 hours to get through the 1.5 and 2.5 remix. I might have to only play through Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2. But we'll, we'll have to see. Yeah, Master Smash, I know there's like a main single player mode for the Smash series where you have to beat Master Hand at the end and Crazy Hand and stuff like that. But uh, I don't I don't play fighting games for the single player. Usually always would be strictly for the uh, multiplayer aspect. Primarily 1v1s without any sort of RNG involved. What I mean, since I'm streaming it... I'll probably go through the story mode. Maybe you unlock characters with it, who knows. But it would be good to get used to it with that. Playable Master Hand, please. I mean, while playing the subspace thing... I think it was called, I forgot. The Brawl single player. They introduced Master Hand like every other playable character, and I was excited for a little bit, and then you couldn't actually play as him. But man, that would be interesting. You can play as him as a hack, though. And awesome chap, how's it going? Welcome back. Has been a while. Hopefully you had a fantastic week so far. Oh yeah, Funky, Subspace Emissary, there you go. There's also a training mode that lets you practice? Oh, you mean just like an empty kind of room? I feel like the best practice is against like level 9s on a team. Or at least that's what I do. I think now people probably use the amiibos. And Murph, how's it going? Welcome back. Long time no see indeed. Hopefully you had a good Saturday. My day wasn't too bad. Work was work. Is the new Smash uh, going to be easy? Uh, I don't know. It's not out yet. I imagine it will be just as difficult as other players when you play multiplayer. Oh, Daisy, you're going to Stone Mountain next weekend to see the laser show. Sounds exciting. Yeah, hopefully it's, uh... Oh, hopefully it is thunderstorming like the last time? Do you want it to rain while you're up there? And Bloodslayer, if Warframe is the game that was out for Sony consoles for free, and that's a multi, like a... If it's anything like Destiny, I'm probably not gonna play it. I think that's Warframe. I think it was just brought up earlier, too. Not really too interested in the MMO style uh, shooter games. Like, I'd much rather play like Call of Duty or something like that. Let's agree this new Smash is going to be easier to understand than Melee. I mean, yeah, probably without like wave dashing, L canceling, and all of that stuff.
And yeah, Daisy, hopefully it won't. That definitely makes a lot more sense. Is the new Pokemon game uh, transport your Pokemon Go? I know you can move Pokemon from Go to the game, but I don't know if you can go the other way. What a fight. I mean, headlock cheats, so what can you really do? Blood Slayer, you just ordered Ultra Moon. Did you play through Moon? Or did you play through the first version of both of those? Or any one of those? Does nobody call drifting power sliding anymore? I mean, I've first heard, you know, that move that you do as drifting. Ultra Moon already came out last November? I don't think anyone was saying that it's a new game or anything. Oh, Justin, we did finally get a match. Good luck, man. Alright. Oh, the last Pokemon you, uh, game you played was Black? <laughs> okay, so, uh... A little bit of a jump. And that's gonna be your first 3D character game, I believe. I think Black was the last one? Or Black and White Part 2, I guess? Oh, that miss. Great. But GG, Justin. GG. Is Pokemon Sun and Moon coming out on Nintendo Switch? Highly doubt it. Those games are for the 3DS uh, family. And Nathan, congratulations on winning the belts with the 20 points. Adjusted on the hardest person you ever faced. I mean, you're, you're definitely going to face up against uh, a lot more difficult people. If they join. Ready? Well, Daisy, have a good one. Thanks for stopping by. And Mojo, how's it going? Welcome back. Man, has it been a while. Hopefully you had a good weekend. Oh, you got a Switch right now? Nice. And Mario Kart. Dude, that game is so much fun. And War, how come? Is Sun and Moon not going to be on the Switch? Uh, I mean, Nintendo doesn't really do that. It's just preference for them. They could do it. They have the capability, they just don't. Like, um... Sun and Moon will probably be eventually released, re-released, like, uh, Fire Red, Leaf Green, Soul Silver, Heart Gold, and Alpha Sapphire, and Omega Ruby. Whenever that, like, we've only been up to third gen so far with those, so we got quite the ways to go. We still have four generations before they re-release those on the latest console. We'll probably be up to, like, gen 10 by then. Well, Mojo, have a good one. Thanks for stopping by. Good luck with some uh, fishing tomorrow. And then there are the virtual versions of the games, which we are only up to second gen, I believe. No one wants paid online. Well, at least Nintendo fans don't want that. I mean, I want it if it's going to fix the server connections, because Smash 4 is unplayable on any internet connection that I've tried to play the game on. 
So I would definitely be willing to shell out some money for it to actually work fine. Alright, can I knock it up there? There we go. I mean, I would prefer not to pay more money, but it makes sense that you'd have to pay for their upkeep of the servers, hopefully, considering now you can just hack everything that's client-side anyway. So I would definitely want to give them money if it's gonna, you know, not result in people hacking. Blood Slayer, you thought I skipped the Wii U? I did skip the Wii U, but I did get Smash on the 3DS, and I played it like a very small amount. Yeah, in King of the Hills, at least it's only 20 bucks a year. Like, I mean, I would be fine with 40 to 50. 20 dollars is like really cheap. Especially if you own a Switch. And yeah, Super Gamer Guy, I mean, not, the server thing isn't guaranteed. But it does give Nintendo money. And usually when a company gets money, they can start upgrading things with that money. And I mean, that's kind of what happened with, uh, that's why Xbox launched so well with, uh, with their, um, monthly or yearly subscriptions because that's what was helping to pay for some of the servers for online play. And then Sony is going to have to, Sony did it, and, I mean, that's probably where some of the money is going to go to. Well, Yune, welcome back. Hopefully you're still having a pretty awesome day. <laughs> Blood Slayer, can I code Pokemon Lava Red? I mean, if I if I started to, I'm sure Nintendo would not be happy. Honestly, it'd be really fun to code a more simpler version of like Pokemon, like Pocket Mortys. I've not watched Rick and Morty, by the way. Heard really good things about it, but uh, Pocket Mortys was such a simplified game of like, it's based off of the rock, paper, scissors mechanic. But imagine that infused with like different types of Mortys. As like different types of Pokemon. It's It was so much fun. And it was very simple. Oh, I see who this is against. How are you reacting that quickly? I don't understand. Alright, that was my bad. You already jumps. There we go. Got your foot for 130 damage. Oh, Justin, you shouldn't feel discouraged playing against us. I mean, we all start somewhere. Alright, as long as I don't get hit by this, we should be fine. I thought baiting you would be the best thing to do. Nope, definitely not. No, that was it! That was better than last time. Game and rollouts going, welcome back. Hopefully you had a fantastic weekend so far. Is ARMS a good game? I enjoy it. It may not be a good game for everybody. 
But it's definitely not my first pick for video games. <laughs> Nintendo should have started the, uh, the online service with the GameCube and Wii. Honestly, with the Wii, yeah. I don't know too much about the GameCube, though. Well, I guess they could have. I don't know how good it would have been. I don't think I remember any issues with Fantasy Star Online, though. But if we could get a game for the Switch, not in Japan, Fantasy Star, please, Nintendo, if you're out there. Arms is a good game, but you get triggered a lot. I mean, if, you know, if those kind of things bother you. Easy. Level four? Come on, game. Financio, how's it going? Welcome back to the stream. And actually, I'll probably go for grabs if, like, we really need to, but, I mean, level 4 to 5, I think... I think we're good. Oh, now we have to fight each other again. At least the music's good. It's like actual dancing music. There we go. I'm not gonna fire first this time, so... Oh wait, 86 seconds. Alright, I gotta fight. I'm not gonna wait that long. Oh, you know what I need? I could, like, equip the shield or something, right? Although, why would I do that? Do I play Fortnite? In the past five weeks now, I think, since its release, I've played maybe five hours in it. Still trying to get used to the mechanics, but, uh, it's not a game I can always practice off-stream. And I'll only be streaming it if they decide to give us a way for, um, people to make their own custom, uh, servers or something like that, just so we can get a hundred people to join. So I'm definitely not going to play 30 minute matches with only three people at a time, that's not enough. I'd rather everybody be able to join, like, a hundred people at once. It'd be really cool. And usually off-stream, I could find time to play Fortnite, but, I mean, I'm so much better at Rocket League. I just would rather pursue my career in Rocket League than Fortnite. Because I can actually get somewhere in Rocket League as opposed to Fortnite. Blood Slayer, am I ready for this game's sequel? Legs. I mean, that joke's a bit overkilled. And yeah, Master Smash, I've only heard, like, uh, famous people are able to make their own servers or something. So, just gonna have to wait. And Jasmine, welcome back. The yeah, Blood Slayer, I believe the first time I played ARMS, we, we killed that joke. Like, unimaginably. Like, I can't wait for Torso, or Toes, or every other human body part. <laughs> Wait for what? Fame? I doubt that's gonna happen. I really don't want that. That would make streaming impossible. Or at least the way I do it.
But the really only issue Epic Games would have is they will have to host the servers. Which might be a little too much for them. But I, I'd be willing to pay for it. Like what my, what you can do with Minecraft? I forgot what those are called. Maybe like maximum... No, $10 a month would be way too much. Maybe 25 bucks a year. Be really cool if Epic Games were to be able to do that. Is it just, uh, oh, it's just us, all right. I think we got this, level five? When is the next Aces stream? Uh, I don't have it on the schedule yet, so do not have it, uh, I would not know. Probably not gonna be on the 13th, 14th, or maybe some odd number of days after that, because there's like three games coming out in between the 13th and the 17th. So sometime next week, definitely, within the next few days, probably. Oh, that was just a waste. Come on, he's almost dead. Uh -oh. Well, you may have a good one. Thanks for stopping by. I think I'll probably set aces to, like, tomorrow's stream is going to be Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, then Splatoon 2, and then I'll probably have aces maybe one or two days after that. And then it should be around the 13th by that time. Alright. Come on. There we go. Why are these things in the way every single time? <laughs> I feel like that should not have connected. Thought for sure you weren't gonna go for a grab. There we go. That was much closer, Justin. Who deserves to be in Smash, uh, Waluigi or Bomberman? I mean, realistically, I think Waluigi should be in there before Bomberman. Well... I don't know, they both have very, very good reasons to kind of... Could it be a tie? Ashley and Nathan, congratulations, both winning the belt with 20 points. Good luck sharing the belt. Might be a bit difficult. Ooh, badge. Not shiny, not worth it.
All right, so we'll play one more final tournament of tonight. That will be the stream. Wait, Justin had already had me fight, uh, had me fighting already before I joined on my console? Well, I mean, there's a couple seconds delay with the Switch. And yeah, Jurgen, uh, I don't think it matters whatsoever if they're assist trophies or not. That has, I don't think there's any correlation between, like, that and anything. It just happens that they are assist trophies. I think that's pretty much it with that. Like, if there's real evidence to support that being a, an actual, like, that means they'll never be in the game? I'm not sure what you mean by just saying that they are both assist trophies. Alright, Ashley, good luck. Have fun. Don't be distracted by the ramen. That is not there, though. Oh no, I shouldn't have gone for a second one. There we go, finally! Won't be a perfect for you. Definitely won't be a perfect. Nope. Such a risk. Definitely paid off. Here we go. All right, thirteen seconds left. What are you going to do? Imagine if there was ramen in the stage. They should really add that. I'd approve of it. And actually, GG it was a good match. Oh, it's another stage with things in the way. Well, good luck, Justin. Imagine if that was able to reach. Yeah, Justin, I don't know what you mean by already facing you, though. I mean, the stream could be on a delay. Like, is this not you that I'm facing? Shouldn't it be one-to-one? -one? I mean, you dodged that and went for a grab pretty, uh, effectively. Ah, there was a little bit of lag in that.
I don't know what to tell you. But you're definitely going to see the the fight start probably two to three seconds earlier because, I mean, you're on a one-to-one -one connection with the game than the stream that could be lagged behind, like, a certain amount of time. Ashley, you are super sleepy. Did you get enough sleep? Usually during the weekend is like when I try and make up all of the sleep that I've lost. Oh, you stayed up too late? Well, that's not good. Hopefully it was at least productive. Oh, I think I just messed it up. That was my bad. What? They didn't do it again? Ah, we still won. That was strange. Mr. Dead Memes, how's it going? Welcome back. Hopefully you had a wonderful weekend so far. Oh, Nathan, we're currently at a tie. Now we're not going to be. Had to say it. All right, Nathan, good luck, have fun. May the best fighter win. Or catch on fire. All right, I feel like I'm at, there we go. Even playing field, you knocked me right off. Yep, there I go. <laughs> That wasn't even a, a good match. <laughs> yeah. Spring man. Oh, now we have to wait. They both have a good amount of HP still. Come on. Match is getting there. Oh wait, but like, Headlock's almost dead. Never mind. Just realized that. Well, Jordan didn't have a good one. Thanks for stopping by. Who's winning? Uh, Nathan is with the most points. It is first to 20. Oh, I guess 20 plus. <laughs> it's not too late to switch to Splatoon 2. Yeah, but I, I usually don't want to do multi-streams. Too much effort to switch up the stream and I mean with the less stream that I have to do, uh, the more time I can actually develop my video games. Also there's some YouTube I have to catch up on. But Splatoon 2 will be I think in two days. Alright. Arm just decided to miss you. Damn it. 
didn't even get a chance to use my rush. So probably two more matches. Oh, you know what? I wish I'd change back to my normal arms. Caleb, how's it going? Welcome back. Hopefully you're having a pretty awesome weekend. How- what? I feel like that hit your hitbox. Are we close to the end of the stream? Yes. This is the last tournament of the stream tonight. When I finish my stream, do I look at me? Not really. I don't have a lot of time for, um, doing that sort of thing. Usually I only have time for work, stream, eat, sleep, and, uh, programming. That's really about it. Like, if I had a lot of free time to, to do that sort of thing, I would love that, but I just, I just don't. So a lot of the jokes and memes I'm kind of missing out on just because, like, I don't have time to see them. Good luck, Justin. You got this. <laughs> oh, but I don't want to I can't do that for this fight. Who's going to attack first? There we go. I wonder if that's really most likely to happen. Okay, no, you can't interrupt somebody. That's good. Oh, no. I shouldn't go for a second one right after. I need to stop doing that. I'm never going to be able to get you with, uh, with my rush. But at least you missed as well. Although I think you have a little bit more health than I do. That's not good. That's the dodge I've always been trying to get. Finally. That was a good game. Finally, one of the dodges out of like five matches total. Nathan, congratulations with the 21 points and the belt. Nice. Whoops. There we go. Leave lobby. 
that will be the end of the stream of ARMS. Hopefully you guys enjoyed playing and or watching some ARMS tonight. Hopefully you got better. Hopefully you improved. And thanks again for stopping by. Tomorrow's stream, I believe, is going to be Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Why do I not have my schedule up? Yep, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. So if you enjoy playing some Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, feel free to stop by. If not, have a great night, day, evening, breakfast, lunch, and or dinner.